And Lord, we thank you for this time, Father God. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy, Father God. We thank you for your unfailing love, Lord. We thank you for directing our lives, showing us the way, Father God, to follow. And we thank you for divine intervention, Father God, making a way where there seems to be no way, Lord. And I thank you for your word, Father God, that just mm -hmm. uh, encourages us, Father God, influences us, Lord, and just tells us more about who you are, Lord. And bless this night, Lord. Bless this study. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And one over to First Kings chapter twenty-one. We're going to see how there was another person who had given herself over, and and she was uh, a witch, Jezebel. Okay. Jezebel. That's yep. Is. Yep. Jezebel. Mm -hmm. that, that she harlot and she was mm -hmm. a witch mm -hmm. she was a witch and and she had a whole bunch of a whole bunch of false prophets under her her reign in her her little court she had a whole mm -hmm. bunch of false prophets okay so she just entertained all of that stuff okay mm -hmm. nothing about god mm -hmm. verse 21 verse 1 and it came to pass after these things that naboth and excuse me, Naboth, the Jezreelite, had a vineyard, which was in Jezreel, mm -hmm. um, hard by the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. Mm -hmm. And Ahab spake unto uh, Naboth, saying, give me your vineyard, that I may have it for a garden of herbs, because it is near unto my house, and I will give thee for a better vineyard than this one. Or if it seemed good to thee, I will give thee the worth of it in money. So he's 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 going to pay for it. He just wants that vineyard. He wants that vineyard. He's the king. He got all the land, and we know how that goes. What what's mine is mine, and what yours is mine. If you got a wrong heart, right? You know. So that's what he's going on. So Naboth said to Ahab, "The Lord forbid me that I should give the inheritance of my fathers unto thee," mm -hmm. and Ahab came into his house heavy and displeased because the word of Naboth the Jezreelite and had spoken uh, had spoken to him and he uh for he had said I will not give you uh the inheritance of my fathers and he he laid him down upon his bed and he turned away his face and would eat no bread but Jezebel his wife came to him and said why is thy spirit so sad and why does thou eat us no bread and he said to her because I spake unto Naboth the Jezreelite, and he said that he would, he, I asked him to give me, long story short, give me his uh, vineyard, uh, even for money, or, or if it please thee, I will give you another vineyard for it. And he answered, I will not give you my vineyard. Verse seven, and Jezebel, his wife said unto him, does thou now govern the kingdom of Israel? Arise, eat bread, and let thy heart be merry, and I will, I will give you the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite. So she wrote letters in Ahab's name, sealed them, okay? I mean, she's just going to town. She's going to uh, put his signature on things. She called for mm -hmm. the elders and nobles that were in the city. She wrote letters, said, now look at this, proclaim mm -hmm. a fast. They're all heathen. Mm -hmm. So they're going to do a wicked fast unto the enemy, okay? Mm -hmm. And craziness. And um, set two men out, okay? to to bear witness that he blasphemed God, which, which was total a lie, and then they stoned him to death that he would die. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And ultimately, the Lord with King Ahab, he said the same ground that Nabal's blood was, uh, you know, uh, saturated into is the same ground that your your blood will also I mean, come on. God is not slack. He's not slack. He says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So, but, but let me share. I'm going to wrap this up. Mm -hmm. So, now Jezebel operated in witchcraft. Okay? Mm -hmm. So what we know, rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. We read it in 1 mm -hmm. Samuel 15:23. Okay, mm -hmm. she lifted herself up in pride. She she actually she she was the queen. She wasn't the king. Mm. If she was the queen, you know, King Ahab. So guess what that woman did? 
she turned around, she usurped his authority. Yeah. Right, right. How do you like that, right? Woman is, and, and she tried to control the situation. Mm -hmm. I'll give us four characteristics of witchcraft so that we can identify it if it's working in our life and then mm -hmm. we could call it out, deal mm -hmm. with it, pray against it if it's from the outside coming in mm -hmm. or if we've given way to whatever, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So, now, uh, Jezebel told Ahab to kill Naboth, okay? And she operated mm -hmm. in witchcraft, therefore she was a witch, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, she had all of her false prophets and she just entertained all that. Mm -hmm. Now, look at this. Naboth's vineyard. Okay, I didn't look back into his story, but, but apparently that was given over to him as an inheritance from his fathers. It was passed down. We have an, an inheritance and the, the benefits of a covenant from Father God through mm -hmm. Christ Jesus that have been given to all, us. Our, our calling, our election, doesn't it say our calling and election has been sure. It okay. is sure in the Lord, okay? So look at a vineyard, I put slash, a vineyard or slash our inheritance, what the Lord wants us to walk into, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, from the Lord was located in Jezreel. The Lord showed me a long time ago, Jezreel, the definition of it in Hebrew means what the Lord has sown. Mm. Okay. So here we have brother whose name, Naboth, the definition, I'm thinking it's Hebrew. It's a, the, the, when I Googled it, it said that it wasn't sure of um, the lineage where it came from. I'm going to say Hebrew because it's in the Bible, old fashioned Hebrew, mm -hmm. you know, Old Testament. His name, Naboth, means to sprout. Mm. So here, we got a brother who got a vineyard. His name is sprout, to oh. sprout, to, to sprout forth, to grow mm -hmm. in a vineyard in the valley of Jezreel, meaning what the Lord has sown. Oh, funny. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what's happening? The enemy, the enemy, and we know this, will attempt mm. to take away our inheritance mm. through different means. Mm. And witchcraft's characteristics, and I just want to share this with you if you want to write them down. I got four of them. There mm -hmm. may be more, but these are the four. Mm -hmm. The first thing it does is try to manipulate you. Mm. It will try to manipulate you. It'll threaten you. It'll give you ultimatums. Okay. So it'll try to manipulate you. Mm. It'll try to intimidate you. Mm. Okay. If you remember, um, wasn't it Elijah who, who was actually afraid at one point of, Je of Jezebel? He was yes. trying to, into, and then he goes running yeah. with powerful problem and he goes running into the caves. Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah. Because he was intimidated by her yet. Because you, you know, I think she had threatened to kill him. Right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you see? Yeah. So, and obviously she she had already given over to jealousy, her, her iniquity. Now she's going to, it turns into now she entertains a spirit of murder. Mm -hmm. And that's all she's doing. She, she's leaving all these bodies attempting to behind, you know, manipulation. Mm -hmm. Three, intimidation, to intimidate you, to keep you bound, to keep you stayed so that you don't go forth and walk in what the Lord has called you to do. Whether it's in your head, we know how the enemy, you can't do that. You didn't go to Bible college for 12,000 years. You can't do this. It, you, you see, you know what I mean? You know, I mean, everyone's going to laugh at you. Who, who do you think you are? I am a child of the most high God. Praise the Lord. Right. Amen. Amen. You know, and we know, right. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth one, I put um, deception. The first thing they try to do is deceive, deceive you, the unclean spirits, okay? So this is something that I just wanted to, to, to share, that as we go forth, you know what I mean? The mm -hmm. enemy doesn't want us to go forth and be like David, mm -hmm. and he behaved himself wisely, you know, he behaved himself wisely in the Lord. We could be as wise as serpents, 
but as harmless as doves and we go forth in the power of God, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and if the Lord calls us to step out in things that we do that and we, mm -hmm. we don't allow the witches or antichrist spirit or anything like that, try to intimidate us, manipulate us, it put is. us in a spirit of fear. Um, you know, like I said, try to control trying mm -hmm. to control you that, that's what she she that's what jezebel was trying to do mm -hmm. you know what i mean and ultimately you know the manifestation if that's not dealt with it can turn into murder really they yeah. want to get you out of the way the enemy yes. don't want you here mm -hmm. right. yeah you know what i mean right yeah so um so that's just stuff i mean i hope that that was okay it was a little bit straight no, i think good. here that was good you, you know but yeah. it's something yeah you know that mm -hmm. um, you know, that I think that we need to be aware of and we need to turn around and secure and um, pray over our fields, pray over what the Lord has given us um, to minister in and everything. You know, have a blessed week. Yes. You know, have, have okay. a blessed Easter.